Let's talk Samaritan, movie reviews in under three minutes. This is a new action movie on Amazon Prime starring Stallone. If you're a fan of Stallone's movies, then you'll probably enjoy this movie. If you're not, then you should probably skip it. This movie is very reminiscent on Batman The Dark Knight Returns. You can tell they were definitely inspired by it, to say the least. The story is about two twin brothers who both have superpowers. One becomes a hero and the other becomes a villain. They have a big fight against each other that leads into the supposed death of both of them. 20 years later, a young boy named Sam, who is a super fan of Samaritan still believes his hero is still alive and he's constantly searching for him everywhere. This is when he runs into Joe played by Stallone who is the garbage man who lives in the same building as him. Sam gets involved in the wrong crowd and getting into a fight where Joe has to step in and save him thus revealing that he has superpowers. It's always interesting to watch these superhero movies that aren't based on any comic books because they have freedom to do whatever they want and it's always interesting to see the characters they create. The one thing I thought was interesting about this universe is it seems like the twins are the only ones that have superpowers because 20 years later nobody else has become a hero or a villain and there's no signs of anybody with powers. So the actor who plays Sam did a really good job in this movie. I liked his spunky attitude and I could have swore he was like 12 or something but it turns out he's actually 16 which was super weird to me unless it just took forever to release this movie. Also props to Stallone because he's 76 and still kicking ass. He is one of the last of the old actors hero still doing it. This movie has some good action but I wish there was a lot more action in this because we do get some really cool fight scenes but it's just not as much as I was hoping for. There's a twist in this movie but I totally called it like 30 minutes into this movie. It didn't ruin it for me but I was just interested to see how they were gonna pull it off and when the twist hit and I was like ha knew it. The villain was alright in this movie, he seems like more of an activist than anything. Since the city they live in, they said there's about 80% that are poor in the city. But he's still a bad guy and he takes on the mantle of Nemesis, the villain that died in the beginning. A few things I didn't like about this, again I wish there was more action, just because of how the movie is it was just far few in between. Also, I thought it was really funny how Stallone walked everywhere. He was just very like hunky and clunky and kind of like a block character. I also wish the world was a little bit more fleshed out and also I wish there was other soups in this movie just because I think it'd be more interesting to have more super powered characters not just two random people in the whole world. Also his powers were very weird and didn't really make much sense like he had a healing factor yet he had scars like all over his body like on his face and his back so like to what extent does his body heal. Also side note the villain that plays Cyrus looks a lot like Michael Shannon. Like it's crazy and I thought it was him at first before I looked it up and I was like wait that is not him. Him. Also, it's kind of a bummer that he never puts on some sort of costume at the end of the movie. I just think that would have been nice to see. In all, this movie was pretty fun and the action was good when we had it, but I think they could have done a lot more with this movie. This is why I give The Samaritan a 6.5 out of 10. If you guys like this review, hit that like button. If you guys want to see more, hit that follow button. And as always, thanks for watching.